This video is sponsored by Nebula. So it never fails. If I put out an Android video or a Galaxy video, I always get at least one comment about me wearing an Apple Watch and how you can't trust me because I'm wearing an Apple Watch reviewing an Android phone. And today we're going to address that because my Apple Watch works with my Galaxy S22 Ultra, which also works with my iPhone 13 Pro Max. I have like my own little ecosystem here and everything shares and works together. And speaking of sharing, let's talk about today's sponsor. If you really wanna take your entertainment experience to the next level, you should check out the Nebula Cosmos Laser 4K Projector. It's an incredible projector that produces a beautiful image even during the day. It has tons of advanced and premium features on board such as Dolby Audio and HDR10 support. The projector is very well built. Everything from the solid metal construction, the rubber top portion, the grippy carry handle, and the illuminated buttons just scream premium. I absolutely love how the Chromecast tucks away in the back portion and is nice and concealed so you don't have to worry about a dongle hanging out. Speaking of the Chromecast, you have the latest version of Android TV on board, which gives you access to tons of streaming services such as Netflix, Disney+, Prime Video, Hulu, and more. Also, thanks to Android TV being on board, you get access to a large library of Google Play games. All you need to do is connect a Bluetooth controller and boom. If Android games aren't your thing, you can always connect the console thanks to the I.O. consisting of an HDMI port, USB, and auxiliary port. To be honest, this is the best projector I have used to date. It produces an image up to 150 inches with ease. It's super bright at 2400 ISO lumens. It has amazing color that covers 100% of the Rec. 709 color space. Outside of the image, this projector packs great speakers that replicate a small soundbar. There's even time of flight sensors on the front to help protect people walking in front or sitting too close to the projector. The gridless auto keystone correction works like a boss, even at odd angles like you see here. If you're interested in learning more about the projector or want to pick one up for yourself, make sure to check out the link in the description. Like I said, it's the best projector I have used to date and it makes for an awesome entertainment experience. First, let's talk about why I choose to use an Apple Watch over other wearable devices like Fitbit or Android Wear devices. Functionality, it is a great fitness tracker. It's very functional, has tons of health functionality built into it like fall detection. It can detect irregular heartbeats, things like that. It also looks good and I know Apple isn't going to drop support for it. They're gonna continuously push out updates and open up even more support for this watch so more manufacturers can take advantage of things like watchOS and GymKit. It's more adopted than Android Wear and Fitbit for that matter. You can use the Apple Watch on more exercise tech than you can any other wearable. So I use Tempo at home for my home gym to work out. And unfortunately, Tempo only supports the Apple Watch. Fitbit is not supported, neither is Android Wear and the Apple Watch links to my Tempo Studio beautifully. Once it's connected, I get information for my heart rate, um, how much time I have left in each set or if I'm in a rest period. Also, I get all of that information for that workout pushed right into the Apple Fitness app as well as the Tempo app. Like I said, it's just great. I love the connectivity with the Apple Watch compared to other wearable devices. I really don't care about the notifications. I don't care about responding to text messages or phone calls on my wrist. I only care about how many calories I have burned, whether or not those little rings are getting closed. I know it sounds silly, but those rings are motivation to me. And I've lost a lot of weight in the past couple of years, and I would like to think that the Apple Watch did play an important factor in my weight loss. Okay, so let's talk about the Apple Watch versus other products out there, beginning with a fitness tracker such as Fitbit. Let's be real, Fitbits are not exactly the most appealing looking watch. The Apple Watch does have a classy vibe to it, even if you go with the more budget conscious version, whereas like a Fitbit looks like a bootleg or wish.com Apple Watch. That's just my opinion. When you're looking at it compared to like an Android Wear watch, well, Android Wear watches are beautiful. It's not the design that holds me back from those watches. The Galaxy Watch 4 is a much more attractive watch than the Apple Watch. I love the rotating bezel versus the digital crown. Plus, Android Wear has some of the best collaborations. Tag Hoyer, we have Tom Brown, we have Fossil. Even Movado jumped on the Android Wear train a while back. The issue I have with Android Wear is the software. If we're being honest, Android Wear just isn't as widely adopted as watchOS and GymKit. Now let's talk about the how. 
But before I do that, let me give you an example of the Apple Watch working with my S22 Ultra. All right, so for this example, I have Dennis's phone right here, which is my camera guy. I have a message typed up to myself saying, yo, yo. I'm gonna go ahead and send that message. You'll see it pop up on the S22 Ultra right there. And then there it is on my Apple Watch. I can launch the message and then I can pull it up on the S22 Ultra. I'm gonna respond on the phone first, yo, yo back. And you can see the response is right there on Dennis's phone. And it's also right there on the Apple Watch. Now let's respond on the Apple Watch. We'll do the hand wave emoji. And you can see right there on the S22 Ultra and on Dennis's phone. So there you go. Watch is working with the S22 Ultra. Let me show you how I did it. Quick disclaimer, the watch is not connected to the S22 Ultra. There's no Bluetooth connection. There's no Wi-Fi connection. In fact, it's still connected to my iPhone. And we're gonna talk about that here in a minute. So to get all this up and running, you're gonna need a few things. You need two lines of service. So you need two SIM cards. It could be on the same plan, or you could do what I did and have your carrier and then pick up a separate line on something like Google Fi. It's pretty cost effective. And this is the route that I chose to go. You also need two phones. You need to have an iPhone and you need to have your Android phone. The iPhone doesn't have to be the latest and greatest. If you're an Android user and just want to use an Apple Watch, you could pick up an older iPhone as long as it supports the Apple Watch. Next, you're gonna need some type of Mac product that can run as a server 24 seven. Um, it could be a Mac mini, which you could pick up for like a hundred bucks on eBay, or you could find an old laptop if you have one lying around. If you do decide to go with the Mac mini approach and pick one up for like a hundred bucks, like I said, you can also pick up a cheap monitor. You can get like even those portable screens that you see on Amazon for laptops that act as like a secondary display. They go for like 100 to 150, or you could just go on Facebook Market and pick up a really cheap monitor for 25 bucks. You're not gonna be looking at it. It's only to be used to set up the server. Then you're gonna need to download Blue Bubbles on the Android phone and then Blue Bubbles on the Mac. The instructions are really simple on the website. Just follow them step by step, set up the Blue Bubble server, and that's pretty much it. You're gonna to have to go through the process of setting up messages in iCloud on the Mac mini as well as your iPhone. Then you need to go into your iPhone settings and you're gonna go under messages. You're gonna go under text message forwarding and make sure that your Mac server is enabled inside of text message forwarding. You also need to make sure send and receive is checked on everything from your email addresses to your phone number. This will ensure that not only do your iMessages get pushed to your Android phone and the Apple Watch, but also your regular text messages. Once all of that is said and done, every single time you receive a text message, it's going to get pushed to your phone and to your Mac server. And then from there, it's going to get pushed to your Android device. So all of your text messages are now coming to your Android phone, which in conjunction will get pushed to your Apple Watch. So you're still getting those notifications. Also, if you have a cellular Apple Watch, all of the apps that you have on your iPhone are going to be installed on your Apple Watch, so you're gonna get those notifications, such as email notifications, calls, so on and so forth. If you don't have a cellular Apple Watch, that's okay. Just carry around your iPhone. You can keep it in your backpack, your back pocket, front pocket, wherever you wanna keep it, and it's going to act as a beacon or hotspot for your Apple Watch in order to maintain that cellular connectivity so you can receive all your notifications, including those text messages. Now, when it comes to getting my phone calls pushed from my iPhone to my Android device, since I'm on T-Mobile, I just go into the settings on my iPhone, go under phone, go under call forwarding, turn that on, and then where it has a spot for the phone number, I just put in the line that my Android device is connected to. Now, every single phone call that goes to my iPhone will also go to my Android device. Let me just give you an example. So as you can see, Dennis has my contact information pulled up on his phone right here. And we have one phone number listed under my contact. And I just wanna show you this so you know I'm not trying to trick you or anything. I have call forwarding turned off on my iPhone. So I'm gonna go ahead and give myself a call. You can see it's popping up on my iPhone as well as my Apple Watch. So I'm gonna go ahead and stop that call. Now I'm gonna turn on call forwarding. I have my Android phone number right here and I'm gonna go ahead and give myself another call. And it should pop up on my Galaxy S22 Ultra. So that's how I'm able to get my phone calls on my S22 Ultra. 
So now that I have my phone calls being forwarded from my iPhone to my Android device, and I have my text messages being sent over through the Bluebubble server on my Galaxy S22 Ultra and my watch, I can literally leave my iPhone at the house and bring my Apple Watch, which has cellular, and my Galaxy S22 Ultra, receive all my notifications, like I'm not missing a thing, use my Galaxy as my primary phone and experience it in order to really dive into the review process be able to come up with all those tips and tricks that you see. And then when I get home, dock my Apple Watch. Once it gets a connection to the iPhone, it will sync all of my fitness data over to Apple Fitness. I can wake up in the morning and do it all over again. And this is how I review Android phones and why you can trust me when you see me wearing an Apple Watch doing a Samsung video. I know this is not the most ideal setup. The average person isn't gonna want to go through all these workarounds in order to use an Apple Watch with an Android device. And for those people, you are welcome to buy a Galaxy Watch 4 or any other Android Wear device or even a Fitbit. But for me, I really like Apple Fitness, I like the Apple Watch, I love my tempo, and I'm going to do this in order to use my Apple Watch with my Galaxy S22 Ultra. Let me know what you think of this setup. Is this something that you would use personally? Do you need a little bit more information on how to get everything up and running? Or am I just crazy? It very well could be the latter. I love hearing from you guys. Comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos just like this and I'll see you beautiful people in the next one. Stop hating on my Apple Watch. Stop. Apple Watch. Stop. You know what? Just you know what? Just take the damn thing.